to discuss implementation. Before the planetarium ever came to my classroom or to my school, I met with educators from the University of Louisville's English Language Learning Department and with the planetarium educator to discuss the curriculum that I was teaching and to design lessons to support learning uh, and help me to achieve my content objectives. Once we decided the subjects that the, or the concepts that the planetarium was going to help or support learning for, we began to design and implement um, vocabulary lessons and English language learning lessons that would allow my students to be able to access prior knowledge and express what they're learning both while they're in the planetarium and afterwards. Um, for my students, uh, it's important to remember that many of them have had very, very limited access to technology. And some of them, for example, had never touched a computer before. So for them to come into the planetarium was a remarkable and incredible experience. Um, so they were really impressed and uh, engaged in everything that happened in the planetarium. Um, I think the the thing that helped me the most with the, with the planetarium was thinking about what were our content and language objectives and then how could we support that learning. And so with the English language learning teacher, um, I implemented some lesson plans that, or lessons that helped the students to gain the vocabulary that they needed to be able to express what they'd learned and to be able to discuss and even write about what they were learning. And with the planetarium educator, I was able to design um, visualizations or uh, collections of movies and images that would help to support the learning that they were doing in vocabulary, but also to support the conceptual ideas that they were trying to learn in science. And um, I think we had amazing engagement both outside of the planetarium and especially inside of the planetarium. One thing that I really appreciated about the planetarium presentations is that the planetarium educator and I presented it as a form of almost discussion so that as the students were um, seeing images or clips of movies, we were able to stop and ask and answer questions and discuss ideas and and uh, I was able to make reference to, this, to things that the students had learned in my class. And um, so I think that the, one of the great advantages with the planetarium visualizations was that, that I was able to really access students' prior learning and reference it with everything that they saw in the planetarium. And then because the planetarium came back more than once, we were able to use what they learned in the first presentation to support what they were learning in the second presentation and so on. Um, one of the parts of the planetarium project, or this whole project that I was most excited about, was that my students were able to do a project for class to develop a short movie to show in the planetarium. And this gave them the opportunity to really um, uh, experience the technology from uh, from a more participatory or active um, perspective than they would have if they'd just seen movies.